Jesus has now become so famous that word of what he has been doing has reached King Herod. And King Herod is wondering who Jesus is because given his miraculous works, he obviously can't be just a normal man. King Herod heard about this. Jesus' name had become well known. Some were saying, John the Baptist has been raised from the dead, and that is why miraculous powers are at work in him. Others said, he is Elijah, and still others claimed he is a prophet, like one of the prophets of long ago. But when Herod heard this, he said, John, whom I beheaded, has been raised from the dead. For Herod himself had given orders to have John arrested, and he had him bound and put in prison. He did this because of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, whom he had married. For John had been saying to Herod, it is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. So Herodias nursed a grudge against John and wanted to kill him, but she was not able to because Herod feared John and protected him, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man. Herod had divorced his wife to marry his brother's wife, and John the Baptist had spoken out against his sin. The impression we get is that King Herod probably didn't mind John the Baptist so much, but Herodias hated John the Baptist for publicly speaking out against her adulterous and incestuous relationship. She needled Herod into having him arrested. In this way, Herodias illustrates something important about the nature of sin that it is progressive, and usually one sin leads to another. Reflect on your own personal life. Have you found this to be true, that often one sin leads to another? If you are struggling with sin, I recommend that you find a quiet spot today and ask God to break the vicious cycle of sin in your life in the name of Jesus and by his power.